Hey guys, I'm Emily from The Blue Mouse, and today I'm going to show you how to do intarsia knitting. So this involves knitting in colors and doing stripes or different blocks of color, but instead of normal stripes where you work horizontally, these colors are worked vertically. So here I have the bottom of my work right down here, and you can see the color change here, here, and over here as well. And so you get these vertical blocks and you can create little patchwork type colors instead of being stuck doing horizontal stripes. So here I've got my test piece. You can see I'm working in several different colors. You've got the vertical color difference here and I'm adding a third color up here as well. So you take your first color and you're going to work normally until you get to where you're going to change to the second color. Okay, so I've worked up until I'm supposed to change colors. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop the color you were just working on over top of the new color. So you take this color, which is the first one, and you move it over to the left, and then you pick up your second color working string from underneath it. So you can see that this is going to get locked in here, and that's what's going to keep your pieces together. So I pick up my second color, and I begin knitting. I'm going to knit two stitches, pull a little bit on the first color, and then pull this second color tight. And then you just keep working in that second color. Until you get to where you're going to change into your third color. So I finished the last stitch on this second color here. Now I'm going to drop it off to the left, drop it off here, and pick up the third color from underneath it. So this is dropped off to the left, and you pick up your new color from underneath it. It's going to be trapped down here like this. And then just begin knitting normally with it. Knit two stitches, pull a little bit on the first color, and then pull the second color just a little bit to keep it a little bit tight. And then finish knitting until you either finish your row or you reach another color change. Then turn your work over. And you're going to do the same thing on the wrong side. So work in your first color. All right, so I've purled my last stitch of that one color. Insert your needle into the second one, and you're going to drop that first color off to the left, and then pick up the second color from underneath it, and then purl. Now purl the second one, and then you can take that first color and just pull it a little bit tight. And then just keep purling with that second color. Alright, so I have one color left. Just finish that. Insert your needle into the new color and take your first color yarn and move it off to the left and pick up your second color from underneath it and then pull it over to purl normally. Now I purl two and then I pull just a little bit tightly on that first color and keep knitting, I'm sorry, keep purling. Mm -hmm. 
So you're going to turn your work again. And just repeat that first row again on every time you're on the right side and the second row every time you're on the wrong side. So what you start to get is these little loops here. That's what's keeping your two colors together. And that's how you know you're doing it right because you're locking in that second color here. Now what can tend to happen is you get one side is a little bit looser than the other. So you get these loops are a little bit looser than the row above them. Now I find I can't really fix that um, when I'm working normally, but if you go and you block your piece and you take a pin or something and you pull on the tighter loops, it'll even them out more. <laughs>